Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Vito. Let's get into it. I don't know if you know this about me. I love magic cards. I don't normally buy the actual cards, but a new set has appeared. Its name is Double Masters. Very exciting. Every pack of cards has two rares, hence the name Double Masters. What is this? It's a whole dang box of Double Masters. And you, those of you at home who don't buy magic cards, you're like, ah, oh, what does a box of cardboard cost? Probably like 50 bucks. This cost me $300. <laughs> but... Some of the cards in here can be worth up to $100 alone. So uh, this will either end with me very excited that I've gotten a good bunch of cards or very disappointed because I have the worst luck on earth. We're going to open it. I'm going to put the prices on the screen. I don't know what they're worth. We'll be looking at a price guide. And uh, hopefully we get some good stuff. Let's open a $300 box of magic cards. All right. Well, let's get into it. I'm sure some of you are thinking, Vito, why would you spend $300 on a box of a, a box of trading cards? Well, Daddy Trump gave us all that stimulus, so the, I'm helping the economy, dang it. By throwing my money away on garbage, I'm keeping certain people employed. Okay, so, inside the box, a lot, there's a lot of cardboard already. So here's, the, here's the, the important thing about these boxes, or at least the thing people are excited for. See this thing that says box topper? There's two cards in here. The cards are either really, really good or really, really not that great. They're all uh, kind of special art. So this can kind of make or break your box. There could be like 500 bucks in here. There could be 40 bucks in here. I guess we're going to save it for last, even though that gives me anxiety. And uh, let's, go, let's go through it. Let's see what we get. I'll put the box over here. I don't do these very often. Well, I guess just regular commons we'll put in a pile. Uh, ooh, Mistress Bobble. So, there's also some even just like uncommon cards that are worth, I think like a buck, Mistress Bobble right now. Uh, is that the start of my uncommon pile? Not that cool, not that cool. I don't know if Mesmeric Orb is uh, worth money. Seems reasonable. Duplicate, always cool. And then you get two foils. These are uh, just kind of regular foils, nothing too exciting. Nothing too exciting and a token, okay. Okay, commons, 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 commons. Boop. Uncommons. Nothing exciting. Wound play. Hey, Noble Hierarch. That's a good card. I'm a fan of that. I'm going to put that in the very cool pile. I guess you kind of want to be able to see them, though. I'll put it right there. Bad foil, bad foil. They're just regular foil. All right, Noble Hierarch already, baby. Can't argue with that. That card's, I think, like 10 bucks or something. It's definitely a card I don't mind having some of. Okay. Let's see here. Commons, comment. Oh, another Mishra's Bubble. Look at that. Okay, Sunken Ruins. Goto, don't really know anything about him. Ooh, a Foil Rare Wound Reflection. I don't know if that's excited or not, but... I'll put Foil Rare in the Neato Rare section. Can't argue with a foil rare, buddy. So what we're looking for, for those of you who don't collect magic cards, there's cards called mythic rares, which are even rarer than regular rares. And those are the excitement. The real excitement. Brainstorm's kind of cool. I don't know if I should put that in a separate pile. Same with, like, ancient stirrings, but... I'll keep it aside. But monomorphos, I know, is cool. Uh-oh, I'm already getting my pile screwed up. So monomorphos, that's a cool uncommon. Regular uncommon, regular uncommon. Automaton. I don't know. I don't know if that card's worth anything. Scarab God. Hey, there's a Mythic Rare. Uh, I don't know what uh, Scarab God goes for. I know it's a solid card, but it's kind of recent, so it's not as exciting as maybe some of the other Mythics I could have got. Uh, two kind of okay foils. All right. Hit our first Mythic. Sad I can't get everything in focus, but these cameras, man. I think web camera technology would be much better than it is. All right, some commons. Expedition map, that's a good common. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Time sieve is not really anything. Hey, another mythic already. We got Avenger of Zendikar. That's a cool one. Again, not one that's worth like a ton of money, but it is a cool card. Foil of Revoke, Foil Executioner's Capsule. Very neat. You get two rares, two foils in every pack. It's definitely a cool product. The cards that I think are worth the most money in here are uh, Monocrypt and Force of Will. I would be happy to get a Force of Will. That would make me very happy. Let's see here. 
But it's good that we've gotten two mythics already. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how well they separated out. If once you get your two mythics, you don't get any more. Or if that just means you got more chances to get mythics. Open the vaults, basilisk collar, nothing great. Foil Springleaf Drum. That's a, a card that gets played. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. That card gets played, I believe, in... Uh, what's that artifact deck? Affinity? It's played in a couple of different artifact decks. I guess I just gotta turn these a little bit, because there's a little bit of glare. Let's see, there's my common. Ooh, another Metamorphose. Very good. Bump, bump. Garbage, garbage. Garbage, garbage. Okay, not a good pack. Not all the packs can be good. I'm really, really hoping I get some good mythics here. Like, uh, Avenger and Scarab God are cute, but... You know, give me a, give me some mocks or something here. <sighs> Let's see. Chromatic Star, good common. We got a Treasure Mage there. Clone Shield. Ratchet Bomb's playable. Champion, okay. And two neat little foils there. Nothing too good. Still got some packs to go. I think there's, what, 24 packs in a box? Still got half a box to go. We haven't even touched our box topper pack. Box topper pack could save the whole thing, man. You never know. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me something crazy here. It's basically, these are just lottery tickets, if you haven't figured it out. Uh, is it Charm, I think? So. Oh, Path to Exile, I know is something. Yoink! Path's worth like a buck or two. Well of Ideas, Doom Necromancer, not exciting. Relic Runder, Dismantle, not exciting. Come on, baby. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this box. It's gonna be like, well, we got $50 worth of cards. <laughs> and Commons, Welding Jar. I don't know if that still gets played. You should get played just as a zero cost. Artifact. Vexing shit. Oh, Master of Ethereum's pretty good. It's probably worth three or four bucks. Foil Urza's mine is very cool. Very cool. I'll put that in my I think this is cool pile. The Urza's lands, if you don't know them, you look them up. Uh, if you get all three of them, they Tron together. Like Voltron. And make a super crazy thing happen. I haven't seen a Mythic in a while. Fulminator Mage, Council Judgment. Decent rares. Foil Ancient Stirrings is worth something, I'm sure. Foil Sarah Sphinx. Yeah, I'm gonna start skipping over the uncommons. Go straight to the rare. Nobody cares about getting a path to exile. Let's see some mythics. Come on, baby. Give me a foil mythic. Some crazy foil mythic. Let's see. Commons. Boop. Uncommons. Rhea Ethereum Shaper. Okay. Not great mythic, but it is a mythic. Uh, it's like a... I don't actually... Is this a new card? Great two. I think this was a lord of some sort. Anyway, it's a mythic. Can't argue with that. Though I do hope that I start getting some cool mythics, man. So fair, we've hit three. Our three mythics have... We'll make a mythic pile. It's been Brea, Avenger, and Scarab Guard have been the mythics. Let's see, huh? Commons. Yes. Uncommons, okay. Hey, Ensnaring Bridge, I think that's pretty good. I don't actually know, but it's definitely a useful as heck card. Ship's Navigator, Foil Shift, and a Foil Rare Arx Mephsi's Slumbering Isle. That's pretty cool. I don't think it's, like, worth a lot, but it's neat to get a... It's a neat foil rare. It's a card that when you play it, it's a land, and then it becomes not a land. It becomes a giant creature. That's great. That's that's neat. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to think about what to talk about when you're opening packs. You're so excited to see what's going to come next. You're like, what will we get? Alright. Commons. Just a uh, little cranial plating, very good. Phyrexian Revoker and Sundering Titan. Sundering Titan's pretty cool. See, a lot of this stuff, the reason I kind of wanted to get this is I'm like, oh, maybe I could make, like, some commander decks. Because there are just cards that are, like, cool. What do we got? Looks like we got nine packs left. Uh-oh. Kind of getting down to the wire here in terms of uh, finding some real value. Let's see. 
Those are my commons. My commons. Meh. 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 Okay. Alright, commons. Boop. And commons. Oh, I'll let. That's one. Blood Moon is good. Maze of Ith is fine. And crappy, whatever. Probably worth a couple bucks each. I think. Alright. Hey, we got a Thought Seize. That's always worth money. Can't argue with that. Walking Ballista is also worth some money, I believe. No big money. Getting, getting hits here and there. But again, this box cost a fortune, so... We'll see if it adds up in the end. Commons. Uncommons. Hey, a Stoneforge Mystic. That's more money. Very good card. Not a Mythic, but a card people really want to get. Remember the Fallen and a Tuk Tuk token. What do I want to see here at the end? Give me a Force of Will. Give me a Monocrypt. Come on. I deserve it. I've been a good boy all year. I've been a good boy. Hey, there we go. Chrome Mox. This uh, greatly <laughs> this greatly brings up my uh, my esteem level. I was like, I don't know, this box might suck. Chrome Mox. I think it's at least fifty bucks, and that's just a cool card. I don't know if you guys know about the Moxes, but uh, that is real neat. Not to mention, there's a Jahora right under there, and a Foil Is It Charm, which is actually pretty cool. That might be worth a little something. All right, Chrome Mox, helping save this box. We still got the box topper to go through. Let's see here. Just give me that Force of Will or that Monocrypt here at the end. Come on, baby. Give me one more big hit, Mythic. You know I'm worth it. You know I'm worth it, Daddy. Lightning Greaves always good. Academy Ruins is cool. And some garbagey foils. Come on, Daddy, Daddy. One, th one reason I wanted to get this is a lot, you know, I started playing Magic, uh, God, like 15 years ago or something. So all the cards that are bringing back are cards that I remember opening back when I first started playing. I got that nostalgia on me. Death Shadow's good, Merciless Evictions, whatever. Follow Chromatic Star! People are gonna want that. That's another one of those cheap, uh, artifacts that does stuff. Oh no, we really only got three packs left? Uh, I don't think we're gonna... I hope we had another Mythic. I hope we had another Mythic. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> High Market, Grim Lava Mancer, nothing, 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 nothing. Ah, crap. Let's hope my box topper saves me. Let's see here. Let's hope this video just gets a lot of views so that it pays for the box. It's not gonna pay for the box. Oh no. Hey, alright, we got one more mythic here. We got a sword of body and mind. Not a bad one. I forgot all the swords are in here. Can't argue with a sword. Alright. That might be our one more mythic to clear us out. Or to end us before we get to the box topper. Sword of body and mind, I think, is actually the one good sword. It makes a, or the, the most beloved sword. I think. I used to think the black-green sword was the best one, but it seems people like the black, or the blue-green one. Okay, commons, uncommons, garbage, fine rare, okay, we didn't get any like crazy cool mythic rares or whatever, okay, here's the big one, <sighs> I really don't want to open this, I just know I'm going to be disappointed, alright, so the first one's always a rare, let's see, lightning greaves, that's terrible, mox opal, hey, that's not bad, at least it's a mythic, okay, because sometimes you could get like a meddling mage or something. So we got a uh, Lightning Greaves, which is whatever, and a Mox Opal, which is pretty good. It's definitely not the best one you could pull, but at least it's a Mythic Rare. All right. Well, there we go. That has been a box. Uh, real quick, we'll go back through. I'll show off what I think is uh, worth showing off. Here, again, are our Mythic Rares. And I think accidentally I put some regular rares in there. Mythics were our Mox Opal. Lightning Greaves is technically a regular rare. A sword of body and mind and a chrome mox. 
Snaring Bridge, Scarab God, Avenger. There we go. It's all right. I mean, there's two Moxes in there. We didn't get any of the big heavy hitters. We didn't get Monocrypt or Force of Will. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty okay with these. I'm okay with getting two Moxes and a sword. Yeah, hey, better than nothing, right? And a lot of cool value uh, rares. Let's quick uh, quick look through there. Obviously, Stoneforge Mystic is a good value rare. I don't know if Blink Moth Nexus gets played, but it is cool. Uh, Academy Ruins, good value rare. Thoughtseize is very good. Always need more Thoughtseize. It would have been nice to open more Thoughtseize. Interesting thing about this box, I don't think we got any doubles, really. For a set called Double Masters, did, I think the only double we got was we got a foil wound reflection and a regular wound reflection. Am I, am I right? That's interesting. Normally you get like some crappy duplicates, but I'm okay with this. Sundering Titan, Hannah Ship's Navigator. Well, tell you what, even if we didn't get up to the $300 plus $30, uh, in tax I spent on this thing. The thing about magic cards is the longer they're out, they'll start going back up in price just because, you know, they start the supply dips. Everybody goes, oh, there's enough supply now, and then everybody, more people keep joining the Magic Gathering community, so the price of the cards keeps going up. So even if we didn't hit $330 here, which I don't think we did, I don't know. I mean, once you add up all the commons, uncommons, and foils, you might actually get there. You know, each of these foils, like something like a foil is a charm. I'm not exactly sure what that goes for. I'll have to look it up later. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty okay with this. And I guess maybe next time... Maybe next time I'll have to open my second box. Uh-oh. <laughs> what am I doing? What's happening? Thanks for watching, everybody.